Good evening, everybody, and welcome to uh, Galveston, Texas. Joe Hoyer along with Cade Lyko as we get set for the last district game of the season for the Mustangs. Mustangs had district. Yeah, Perry yanked that uh, prior pitch foul toward the third base dugout. And that one, he stayed inside it and got it just inside the line for a double. That should get a run home. Ground ball to second base. Locke did his job, and the Mustangs lead one to nothing. Go. Good job by Kyle putting that ball in play with one out. Yeah, on the ground, right side, up the middle. Uh, Next batter's never It's a deep part of the infield, if anything, to, to help get that run across. Good job there. Getting a run early for your Mustangs. I'll bring up Dawson Henson, the young sophomore. Super talented kid. So glad to see him without that brace on the knee now. And you can tell in the last game how it just boosted his confidence. His, his defensive play last game was just phenomenal. And his hustle and his range. Good ball player. One ball, one strike to Dawson. Smoke. Oh, it's hit oh, really well ball. left field. It, Going back to the wall, looking up, through. and it's into the wind, gone! Ding dong, that pitch is dead. Wow! Moly! Are you kidding me? <laughs> into the teeth of the wind. No doubter off the bat, just cranked it. That away, kid. Good to see that big smile on his face. You know he's feeling good about that one. Right on. Well, we've been talking about it for quite a while, okay, just waiting for him to get healthy and get his bat going again because that's a guy that he cannot yeah, live without. Absolutely. He needs to be that guy that the, that the, the pitchers fear when it comes around to him. He, he and Dane Perry, I mean, those are two bats that, <laughs> you know, you got your guys like Peyton that are getting on base up in the top of the order and Piercy, you know, always finding a way on. You need those big bats to come through and, and uh, both of them did this time through the order, so. Good to see. I think just getting that brace off, I think, just stoked his confidence, honestly. Blake Knowles come, getting a chance to start tonight with Encarnacion on the mound. Knowles hitting 333 on the season. Ground ball to short. Throws across. He might beat that out. Oh, that's a terrible call. <laughs> beat it out. That's tough. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. It really wasn't even that close. Tough call. But that'll do it for the Mustangs. They do punch three across. He's so going to ask the home plate up. umpire. Man, that, that, Benny's going to ask. I mean, it's his call. He's not going to let it go. He's like, he's not even going to let him. I promise you. Oh, oh no, he is going to let, let him. Man, that was a, he was past the bag. There's no way they're going to change it. Oh, you're, you're standing there. You got better look than I do. Blah, blah, blah. Out. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. Uh, all right. The 6 3 ends the inning. But the good news is that guy's not behind the plate. Yeah. That's all it's right. just he's in the field. And the good news is, Joe, <laughs> Mustangs did what they needed to do. They came out early. They put a crooked number up. They got three on the board to start the game. And okay. you got Blake coming in. Going to start throwing some darts up here. Feel good about it. I did, about well, it. <laughs> not an easy field to throw strikes. No, it's not. Because you, you're dealing with the wind. Just bouncing on the mound is difficult when you when you got uh, this kind of wind. Now, it also makes your ball move a little bit different too, right? Sure. So uh, you saw uh, Jackson have a little trouble. Walt Piercy, that run came around to score. Uh, and... Uh, Blake has been up and down, you know, his last few outings. He's had some good outings, and he's had some so-so as far as his control goes. So we'll see how he how he does in this 25-mile-an-hour uh, win here. I think the key with Blake is when he leaves his bottom half a little more quiet, he doesn't get quick. You know, when he doesn't get quick to the plate, he has a lot more control. You'll see it uh, from time to time throughout the game where he's got a good, nice tempo and kind of it kind of goes through his progression and then explodes to the to the plate. He's all over it, but 
when he gets a little quick, his top half gets a little quick, that's when he starts to lose a little bit of control. But he's got good stuff, no doubt. It'll so. be Jonah Williams leading it off for the Tornadoes. All right, Jonah Williams set to lead off for the Tornadoes against Encarnacion. Defensively, the Mustangs are set up like this. Dawson Henson at third, Caden Wells at short, Drew Smith at second, and Matt Lara over at first base. And then left to right in the uh, outfield, you got Lockhart and left. Peyton Adams in center and Blake Knowles in right. Yeah. Ball, woo! Ugly ball headed to the Friendswood dugout, but it, they kicked it back out. No ugly kids in, in that dugout. Yeah. <laughs> it's a couple borderline ones over there. No borderline, but that ball, <laughs> ball didn't stay in the dugout. It came out. Breaking ball, wanted to call it, let it go, said it was up a little bit, one and one. Wind right in our face here at Tornado Field. Another fastball late again is Williams, ball fouled out of play, and it's one and two. Jonah Williams, a... Uh, Top prospect in uh, football and baseball. Be interesting, interesting to see where he goes and what he ends up doing. One, two from Carnacion bounces in there. It's two and two. Got a brother that played ball. Dad played ball. It's the family genetics are definitely there. Good Got it. Wow. Just diced it up out there. Think, holy moly. I think he was looking for the breaking ball, and he got he got gas on the outside corner. That was paint. That was beautiful. Great pitch by Blake. Better, number 18, Cannon Chase. Here's Cannon Chase, the right fielder. Grounded foul on the right side. Uh, our QA tonight is Randy Fry again. Thank you, Randy. Thank you, Randy. Um, we've been having some connection difficulties, but I think we're rocking and rolling at the moment. Check swing. Yeah, he did. Oh, no, no he, he did not. All right, one and one. <laughs> hmm. Thought the home, the home plate umpire was going to call him himself. No third base umpire. That's who you would normally ask. So our field umpire is 0 for 2 for Mustang calls tonight. Ooh, man, just off the plate. 3 and 1. Three balls and a strike. Fastball line to left field. Hit pretty good, Great but jump, right Locke. at Locke. Locke did Great it. Good. He read, read it well. Ball. Really good read. That's a tough play. The way this wind's blowing, kind of 
dead end, maybe a little bit Next right to left. Left-handed batter slicing that ball into left field, and it's dying like a quail out there, but great read by Locke and charging immediately to make that play for his pitcher. Good job. Brings up Sully Mixon, the third baseman. Two out, nobody on here in the bottom of the first. Joe Hollier and Cade Lyko outdoors. This is the outdoor baseball channel today. Like it. Where it's meant to be. They don't like us in the press box here <laughs> or in the port. <laughs> Fastball Great by him, man. Got to, got to gear up quicker than that. Blake's got a tailwind here. He's those 92, 94 anyway. The Nebraska commit is off to a good start here. Slider made Mixon look silly, and it's 0-2. They can do just about anything you want. 0-2 with two stri I mean, two outs, you can uh, you can throw a purpose pitch, a show-me pitch, or you can go right at it. And you can really throw anything you want. It's just make a pitch, execute. Ask for time. <laughs> not, not any big hurry step in there. Come on, Mix. Let's go, kid. Look, Blake, Blake has not even moved. No, he's ready. <laughs> he's ready to go. The 0-2. Good pitch. Good pitch. Yep. Popped out of Piercy's glove. Good location. I like that down. Good hard slider down. So now you made him look silly on a slider. You threw a good hard slider down. Now if he can blow a fastball right by him. Upper part of the zone. Zip. There it is. Oh, oh. did not get the call. Wow. Two and two. Wow. That was dotted. I don't know what was wrong with that one. That was a seed. <laughs> Make yeah. that call on that one. So we'll take it. But the Come one before that was the strike. A couple of strikeouts looking. But it's a 1-2-3 inning for Encarnacion. And we will head to the top of the second with the Mustangs leading it 3 nothing. You're watching Friends with Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network. Drew Smith will lead it off for the Mustangs here in the top of the second. Drew Smith hitting 329 and 70 at bats on the season. Solid year. Takes a pitch high for ball one. Man, want to give a shout out to uh, the golf girls. Yeah, how about that? They're friends with. They are headed to state. Amazing. Mary and Maggie Kerr, Trinity Bosley, Catherine Jonda. Mary Sheshuk, they are regional champs for the first time in 34 years. They are going to state. 2-0 pitch. Popped out to center field. Williams under it. There's one away. Yeah, two of those girls have younger sisters that play volleyball with Ellie. Mary Sheshuk's younger sister, Phoebe, and uh, 
uh, Bosley's younger sister, Rayleigh. And congratulations to the coaches, Scott Smith, Ray Monahan, Mitchell Marquis, and uh, Tiffany Blevins. Quite an accomplishment. Congratulations, girls. That's awesome. That'll bring up Laura now, 235 on the season and 68 at bats. Laura having himself a really solid year, especially defensively. He's come up big at the plate a few times, too, this year. Had a walk-off earlier in the season. Hits a high chopper foul. Bam Hollier misplaces it in the coach's box. He'll throw the ball back in. Stone hands over there. Yeah. He knocked it down. Didn't feel it clean, though. Needed that big padded catcher's mitt. I think it's the, the beard. He shaved the beard off. Oh, he did. Looking like he's in an uh, episode of Boogie Nights over there with that mustache. <laughs> 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 Pitch up. Two and two. Don't be jealous, Joe. <laughs> I've seen you rock the stash. You can do it too. Oh, abs absolutely. <laughs> of course, my three and two. Mine has no color to it anymore. I'm, I'm catching up with you. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, you still got some salt and pepper in there. I'm pretty much all salt now. 3-2. You are salty. Ah, you know good at high. Are. Man, work back from an 0-2 to a walk. Good job, Laura. That'll bring up Mr. Wells. Batters number three, Caden Wells. Wells, 338 on the year. Having another solid year. The young shortstop. Yeah, you're going to get Caden Wells for a couple more years. Up there swinging it. Ooh. Benny, Benny might have had a mini hit and run there. <laughs> Law yeah. was halfway second. Thankfully, the catcher didn't see him Ooh. early enough. But he did have a shot. He could have popped the throw down there. Of course, in this wind, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, ja Jackson trying to catch Law sleeping over there. A the quick throw. Not a big lead now. Now getting off. Kind of surprised Benny's not buttoning him over. Oh, there is one out. I forgot. We one out, 3-0 out. lead. Let's go for it, man. Come on. Let's hit. Yeah, I thought there was. I forgot we had an out. Laura's scooting off now. 0-2. Oh, Little League night here in uh, Tor Field. So there's a jillion Little Leaguers running around. I love it. On both sides. Takes you back to the good old days, doesn't it? There goes Laura. Pitches inside. Laura's going to get a stolen base standing up. Catcher didn't come up with the ball. Look at old Speedy out there. Woo! Oh boy. Look at that. RBI opportunity now for Wells. Pretty good hole there on the right side. Curveball, fouled him towards the dugout. Oh, caught cleanly. Who caught that, Knowles or Lockhart? Can't tell. Two balls, two strikes, one out, runner at second. We're in the top of the second. Mustangs leading three nothing. Ball in on the hands. It's going to be trouble. No, wind's going to blow it back to the infield <laughs> and caught to the uh, by the second baseman. Wow. Hello, wind. Yeah. So on the ground would have been better. Yeah, unless you're Dawson Henson. You want to keep it on the ground, huh? <laughs> so that will bring up Peyton. Mr. Adams, 349 on the season. So coming down a little bit from yeah. earlier. He's in a little mini slump, but all it takes is one. Just got to go up there and approach it as I'm 0 for 0, and the next time I get a hit, I'll be 1 for 1, and that's where you got to go after it. Ask for time. Hitless on Tuesday, and 0 for 1 here tonight. I like the righty-lefty matchup. He normally hits right-handers extremely well.
Look at Laura. Laura making the pitcher pay attention to him. I like it. That's your job as a base runner, at yeah. the very least. Distract him enough. Take him off his game a little bit. Make him make a mistake over the plate. Grounded up the middle, off the glove of the pitcher, and he'll beat it out for an infield hit, first and go. third. Looks like a line drive in the book, Joe. He's one for one. Starting a new new little streak here, hitting streak. Sometime, there. Sometimes that's all it takes. That's it. Here's Piercy, walk. Pinch runner came around to score for him. Having a good senior season. At the behind the uh, dish and uh, at the plate. Yeah, we've been fortunate to, to watch Mr. Piercy here now for what three years on the varsity level, playing some really good baseball and three-year letterman. Be sad to see him go. There goes the runner. No throw. No second and third for Piercy. Base hit would be huge. Another curveball. This one stays up, and it's 2-0. and oh. That's where that wind can kind of yep. wreak havoc on you as a pitcher. You're expecting that break a little more, and it's just not, not quite there. That wind's pushing it, keeping it up just a little bit. Or is just barely missing the top of the zone? Hot hitter on deck. 3-0. and oh. Only, only bad thing if we load the bases is I know Dane. He starts thinking grand slam instead of base hit. <laughs> it's hard not to when you got that kind of pop. Taken all the way on three and zero. Oh. Gotta try to remember every play just like the last, not to let the get the mo let the moment get too big. You just gotta stay in it, keep your focus. Pitch up for ball four. All right, here we go. Let's see if we get a visit here from anybody. And then, nope, we'll let Jackson deal with this on his own. Got a base runner. It's going to be uh, Vegas going to run for Piercy. Next batter, number one, Dane Perry. So, Laura at third, Adams at second, and Lane Vegas over at first with... Dane Perry strolling to the plate. Started the game to 500 average and up a tick now with that base knock and his first at bat in the first. You love it when you're feeling good and you're hitting well and you're getting two at bats in two innings. It's like keep it rolling. Good breaking ball for strike one. Jackson needed that pitch, let me tell you. He, did, he gets behind Perry, it's gonna be trouble, trouble. And they're starting with a breaking ball for strikes. That's a big pitch. Fastball. Fouled it out of play. <clears throat> and it's 0-2. Have not had a pass ball here. Easy to score on a pass ball. A lot of room back here. 0-2. This ball smoked to left field, but right at the left fielder. Gosh, dog it. Yeah, good rip there by Perry. That's what you got to do. Hit it hard. You can't always control where it goes. But good A-B there. Really good at bat. Not a great 0-2 pitch. Gave him a lot of plate and a good <coughs> one to hit. He, he stroked it. But right Mustangs, the Mustangs will strand three, but they still lead 3-0 as we head to the bottom of the second. You're watching Friendswood Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network.
So your district standing, Santa Fe leads with a 7-2 record. Uh, Friendswood at 7-4, Angleton at 6-4. And, and then Galveston Ball and Laporte are both 4-5. So they'll be uh, battling for that spot. And then Angleton plays Santa Fe next week. And should Angleton sweep Santa Fe and Friendswood win here tonight, uh, you'd have a three-way tie in District 18-5A. It's possible. And it's possible. Um, Angleton's got possible. a couple of really good arms. Their issue's been offense, right? Where was that? One ball, two strikes. Wow. And the slider. First strikeout swinging. It's number three for Encarnacion. It's dealing. It's feeling it. Next batter, number 20, Austin Reigns. Brings up the first baseman, Austin Reigns. Fastball in there for a called strike. Pumping the gas. Piped it in there. Here it is, hit it. Hey, I'm, you know, I, I guarantee you, I'm gearing up for the first pitch fastball and trying to have something rolled over to short. I mean, second base. Nice footwork. And Smith, oh, Drew Smith. to Laura for out number two. I like to watch the little things on balls like that. We have time to watch their and fundamentals, watch right. the footwork, to see his little stutter step and his right left to the ball, and that heel down on that left foot, come to it. Yeah. Well, his, nice. da his dad's Scott Smith, so he better be doing it right. Yeah, he's good, man. Good, good, good fundamentals right there. Yep, absolutely. It's a good infield. It's a very good defensive infield. Been, they've been. Uh, yeah, we've been kind of spoiled. I mean, they're they're they're, they're, they're that solid. Right? They've they've been. They are. They've place. been banged up. Yep. Um, you know, they had to move around a little bit. I know at the start of the year that they, they were they were an MLB calendar type infield, and they're just now getting back to that. That a boy. See, that's the way I'd be. I'd be up there racking at that first pitch fastball. Now he was a day late, knowing it was coming, but he was trying. Two outs, nobody on. Carnacion with five in a row retired. And he's one and one to Tyler Trevino, the second baseman. Good crowd here from Friendswood. Um, yeah, really good crowd. Traveled well today. Yeah, absolutely. No school today. In yeah, Friendswood, so yep. that helps. I'm glad you mentioned that. The uh, hit to right center gap. Going to hang up. Adams is calling for it, and he'll squeeze it for out number three. So another one, two, three inning. Facing the minimum through two. Nice. I will uh, finish my thought on <laughs> what I was going to tell you next inning. You're watching Friendswood baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network.
Kyle Lockhart will lead off for the Mustangs here in the top of the third. New pitcher on the mound for Galveston is Austin Reigns. He tra trades places over there at first base with Norman Jackson. So Norman Jackson night ends on 44 pitches through two innings, giving up three runs. All three earned. Not a bad idea. Mustang scored three off of them in the first, loaded the bases, and almost cleared them in the second. So uh, slow ground ball to second base. Good hustle. Good hustle. And there's one away. Yeah, considering the amount of traffic and the three runs that came across, 44 pitches wasn't all that much. But that tells you that the Mustangs are up there aggressive early looking for something to hit, put the ball in play. Mustangs have yet to get a leadoff batter on. They've uh, gotten the number two guy on a couple of times. And here's Dawson Henson, who homered his first at bat. <laughs> a little bit of unorthodox you know, delivery there. When I say homeward, I, I'm talking <laughs> into a gale force wind here. And there was really no doubt. It was the only doubt was was it going to stay fair. The wind was pushing it a little bit left too, but I mean he smoked that ball. Got a curve <laughs> ball. Got under that one. <laughs> Chance one to one. Looked like he was sitting on that curve too. Yeah, he was. Definitely saw it well. He just missed it. Two balls and one strike. Yeah, we have full house here at Tour Field. A lot of kids. Ooh, two and two. Tough call there. Up and in. The uh, You mentioned not having any school today. Two, two. Stays down. Um, so it's a community service day. All the baseball kids went and uh, worked at the Galveston County Food Bank today. Right on. Good cause. Good job, kiddos. Wow, gassed up. Probably ball four, but after that last call, a little too risky. First strike out of the game for Galveston ball. There's two away and nobody on. Yeah, great cause. I think the varsity went about 7.30 this morning, so they got done pretty quick. Um, got back home, were able to rest up for tonight's game. But uh, uh, according to the coaches, they saw about 130 cars um, working this morning. Good work, fellas. Here's Blake Knowles, 333 hitter. Blake grounded out to short his first time up. Curveball comes around, he says, and it's one and one. That's down low. Got a little ligger with his uh, fingers through the net over here. He's going to lose a finger. Dangerous proposition. cop to move him off the, off of that before he didn't lose a finger. Just get his hand get his hands back inside so he doesn't lose a finger. Three balls and a strike. Takes up taking all whoa nose taking <laughs> there's a uh Next batter's number six, Drew Smith. Gratuitous walk there. It missed. I guess it was outside. Looked good from here. Here's Smith. Smith popped out to center field his first time up. Smith 0 for 2 Tuesday night with a walk. Takes strike one from Reigns. So again, Smith entering the game with a 329 average, having a solid year. Dipping a little bit the last few at bats, right? But showed bunt. There goes the runner in easily. All right. The Mustang runner should take note. Yeah, uh, that that's a different catcher than we saw the other night. 
Yes. <clears throat> Definitely susceptible to the steal. Hey, don't tell Matt Laura that. Laura, <laughs> <laughs> Laura, Laura's like, hey, look, man, I'm one for one. Curveball yeah. sliced to second base. Got a little spin on it. But uh, throw wide of the bag. He'll drop and it. Good base running. And a great base run, and nobody gave up. Knowles comes around to score. Good job by Benny over at third, sending the runner. Well, just and a great job by Knowles to hustle. Hustle off the bat, regardless of it being a lazy ground ball to second base. Don't assume anything. I'm going to say E4. Next batter, number 24. But Mustangs put a run across after two quick outs to start the inning. Here's Matt Lara walked. There goes the runner. Yeah, all day. And uh, yeah, I think you called it. Um, well, the pitcher's not doing him any favors either because he's not really holding the runner. He's kind of herky jerky to the plate. Yeah, there's there's there wasn't even a throw down on that one. Right. So Lara now with an RBI opportunity. Rains trying to get it back together here. Oh, Laura. Just ahead of himself there, and it's one one Got a good pitch to hit. Yeah, he was sitting on it. When he saw it, he was just a little quick. What's he hitting now? Anxious. Laura started the game at 235. So, room for improvement, but again, having a solid season. Don't let the numbers don't just get stuck on stats. Hit towards center field and caught in center field, and that'll end the inning. So Mustangs will strand one, but they get a walk and an error and a run. And we're through two and a half. Mustangs lead this one 4 nothing. Watching Friendswood Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network. Adam Ochoa will lead off for the tours here in the bottom of the third. Adam Ochoa. Shout out to Dan Gloger in Pearland watching again. Shout out to the Brantleys, Goolsbys, Maxies, our usual regulars.
Things have been playing well. This has uh, been a tough field for them to play here in the past. Ball's up for ball one. One and one. Looks like their scoreboard's a little glitchy too, Joe. Benny moving his infield a little bit. Two balls and a strike. Well, they got the runs right, but as far as the uh, in the innings is where it's glitching. Ooh, we're losing it. It's fading. Two and two. So seen out of Back to the Future. Remember they had the, the pictures and yeah. it slowly fades away. <laughs> two two pitch. High gas. Got him. Strikeout number four for Encarnacion. And there's one out to start the third. And, uh, Parker Coza, the left fielder, will step in. Next batter is number 11, Parker Coza. Cousin Ball has been going in order, so they're yet to go through the lineup yet. Oh, that got a piece of Piercy. He's going to walk it off. He's waving the coaches off. Catchers are a tough breed, aren't they? Good job there by the head coach asking to talk. Just giving Piercy a little time to recuperate. Classy, classy move. Classy move, yes, sir. Yep. No balls, one strike to Coza. <laughs> did, that, did the wind just pick up? It sure seems like it. Cutter inside, it's 0-2. High chopper, left side, foul ball. Well, I'd like to see him throw that slider away here. He's got it set up for sure. Still 0-2, throwing three straight in the zone. Yeah, that one caught a little too much of the plate for me. Not that. Henson wouldn't have thrown him out. He's, he's a freak. Like Look, that. Did, did, I, did I just mention his name? Ridiculous. Stop Ridiculous. it. Ridiculous. Stop it. What a play there by Dawson Henson. He's so good. Uh, Next batter is number 17, Mike Martinez. Well, Blake just. It reminds me of the, the quote in Moneyball when he's trading Pena and he says, Why are you trading him? He goes, He's making everybody else look bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I feel about Henson. He's playing so well, he's making everybody else look bad. Ooh, great. Breaking ball there for strike one. Hey, it makes it look easy. And you know it's not easy, Cade. No. It's just not. Baseball in general is not easy. Playing infield is not easy. But playing the hot corners. A lot more difficult than a lot of people realize. One ball, one strike to Martinez. So he's and he's moved to third. You know, he was primarily second yeah. short. You yeah, know, yeah, primarily middle a infield. middle infielder uh, up until the, the <laughs> brace sent him over to third. And next level coaches, they take note of those sorts of things, you know. They see the kid that's lived his life primarily as a middle infielder just go to third and act like it's a second nature you know he just gets over there and makes plays and that's a baller somebody you can trust to put in anywhere wow that get it a hold of somebody nope got a piece of it but there's only one baseball umpire is out of baseballs all right 
One ball, two strikes to uh, the catcher. I know where one of them is. It's over there off on 81st Street. Yeah. <laughs> where Henson deposited it. One and two. Got him. Wow. Quick Close. work there. Another couple of strikeouts in the inning and through three. Just coasting. Mr. Encarnacion has been absolutely perfect. We will head to the fourth. Mustangs lead this one 4 nothing. You're watching Friendswood Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network. Here we go, top of four. Caden Wells leading off for the Mustangs. Wells coming in hitting 338 on the year. Takes ball inside. Inches. Go ahead. Uh, 338 on the year and 71 plate appearances. Or I should say had bats. Heading the count here, 2-0. and oh. Joe Hollier along with Cade Lyko here on the Big Daddy Media Network. We've been very proud to bring you all the district broadcasts this season. That's home, been fun. And, home and away. Yeah, been we've got two years in a row. Thank uh, Allison uh, Piercy for uh, being a great booster club mom and one of the best. I think she will. Woo. Two and two, three, three and two now. Uh, she'll hand the keys over to, I believe, Callie Rhodes. <clears throat> so we'll still be in good hands there. Of course. Those ladies do a great job keeping us informed on what's coming up. And Hitting to the right center gap. Long run for the center fielder, but he's got wheels, and he'll run it down. <laughs> That's another guy that makes this game look easy. Yeah, Jonah Williams out there, just a great athlete. Good jump on that ball. Wynn pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down. He ran it down easy. Bring up Peyton Adams, started the night on 349. Was he one for two tonight? One for two, got an infield yeah. single off the pitcher's glove. That was a line drive, remember? <laughs> Tries to lay down a bun, he'll foul it off. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Mustangs lead this one four nothing. He's got four runs on three hits. Ball popped up out of play. 
I got him to take a picture of us. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Right on. We should, we, do you know, have these old man glasses on? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, good. I would have told you that. All right, thanks. Thank you. I don't want evidence on it. O2. Yeah, he's got, the, he said, uh, and I asked him, he said, well, I, I wish I'd known earlier that I brought a smaller lens. He had to go to the dugout to get far enough away to actually get our picture. So maybe we make the uh, end of year video this year. Okay. <laughs> two balls, two strikes, one out, nobody on for the Mustangs here in the top of the fourth. Ball popped up out of play. So... We are out of baseballs. Somebody should do something about that. Mm, game is game has been halted. <laughs> Adams has caused a delay. He's fouled so many baseballs out of the ballpark here. Battling. 2-2 two -two count. Got it. One just foul. Hanging breaking ball. Yeah, Rain's lucky he didn't do a little more damage with that pitch. That ball was definitely hanging. It was just out enough on the outer half that he tried to yank it Got a little over the top, pull the foul, but a little quick. 2-2. Two, two. Good take. Runs the count full, so back-to-back -back full counts to start this inning. <laughs> Hit through the hole there on the right side what for I a base you. hit. That's what what all it takes, right? It's a, that one, now it's a new streak. He's two yeah. for his last two. Forget all about that, that S word we were talking about, the slump. We are talking about the new S word, the streak. The streak has begun. Two for two, Joe. Let's go. Well, we'll see if they do any better job holding a runner here. Nah, he's gone. <laughs> they might throw over, but as soon as they don't, he's running. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Not a very big lead. Oh, my. oh, there he goes. Read the down angle. It's good base run in there. Well, now Piercy with the chance to. Piercy coming in hitting 362 on a year in 80 at bats with 29 hits. So one of the team leaders tied for the team lead in hits, 29. That's down. Good block. It's uh, two and zero, oh, isn't it? Yeah, I, I got two and zero. Oh. Scoreboard says one and one. Yeah. Oh. First pitch was in the dirt, and Peyton read down angle right. took off, and that pitch was off the plate. So. That's three and zero. Oh. Adams will get to third on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you for a couple weeks, Joe. I'm hoping. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're gonna miss me. Get back. That's that is not the way it's gonna be. It's gonna I will. Uh, hopefully, you'll get the opportunity to listen to the games. Um, again, we're not sure who we're playing in the playoffs or where we're gonna be. Uh, so all next that week they're going to have some kind of like uh, kind of just a filler game. Some like uh, yeah, we have the buy should be yes the district buy. So we're going right. to play a Clear Springs or a Clear Brook. Correct. Or somebody, right? We've been playing. I think Springs is on the uh, yeah. schedule, but right. uh, you know that's subject to change. But yeah, it'll be a, a non-district game just to keep everybody sharp. Uh, probably throw everybody an inning and just get get some work. Piercy swinging three and zero, really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he 
He's got a duck sitting over there on third. I guess what? I saw one he thought he could drive him home. I don't know. That's all right. That's all right. It's three and one. They have it two, two and two up there. Ground ball short. They're going to hold the runner. Yeah, infield's playing in. Yep. Hit it right to Tough the Tough break stop. there. Yep. Kersey would like to have that one back for sure. Good job by the shortstop to grab it and look the runner back and make the easy throw to first. You know, Perry keeps this up. I mean, he's going to start having the uh, the maxi rule. They're just going to start walking him. They might. So again, entering the game at the 500 average. Now that's limited limited ABs, 42 ABs, but 21 hits and 42 ABs. Well, that, yeah, that's that'll that's give you that 500. So I say limited. I mean, that's still a big sample size to keep hitting 500. So don't get me wrong by what I'm what I'm saying there. <laughs> he did miss a couple of games, but only a couple. Ball oh, hammered into the gap left center. I don't think anybody's going to get to that one. It's down for extra bases. It'll go. be the second double. And a boy for Dane Perry. Staying hot. And an RBI at that. Go, kid. Like I said, I, you know, <laughs> open base. It's at some point he's going to start getting walked. Yes, sir. Five nothing, Mustangs. Bring up Lockhart from the left side again, batting 328 and 58 at bats. 19 hits on the season. Lockhart, a couple of ground outs, but he's got an RBI tonight. Opportunity for another one here. Five hits, five runs now for the Mustangs. In on the hands, foul back this way. Again, thank you to our QA, Randy Fry. Randy's uh, doing a couple of games tonight. He's got the Concordia College broadcast as well as this one. Double duty again, huh? Yep. That takes some talent right there. There goes Perry. Ground up the middle, shortstop fields it, and high throw. It's going to be close, and then he's out. That's a, that's actually was probably the right call there. Six three put out, but the Mustangs do push another one across. They lead five nothing, and we back with the bottom half of the inning in a bit.
Jonah Williams to lead off for the tours. Williams struck out looking in his only other at bat. Five strikeouts so far for Blake and Carnacion. He'll face the top of the order, Williams, Chase, and Mixon. So through the first three innings of work, Blake's only thrown 38 pitches, so I'd call that efficient, less than 13 an inning. That's good economy right there. Fouled out of play. Ooh, that one in the dugout. Hit somebody in the back. <laughs> It ricocheted off the net and got, got somebody on the ricochet. Who's, who's number nine? Bangle, Sam Bangle. Ah, Bangle. I think it's Bangle that got hit. <laughs> Bangle got the ugly ball. <laughs> One ball, two strikes to Williams. He froze him with a fastball the last time. See what Blake does here. Tries to go away. It's two and two. It's rare that you see uh, Williams chase something out of the zone. Two, two. Tried to paint that corner. Again, Williams spoiled it. Yeah, good adjustment by Williams. This is back. That's the pitch he got struck out on last time. Watching it, but he fouled that one off. Live to see another one. See what break comes back with here. I'm expecting a slide piece. Still two and two. Slider in. Slider in. Oh, tough play. Good wheels. Coming across, nobody's going to get him. He was at the bag. That ball was bounced straight up in the air. And the perfect game and no hitter is gone. Man, on that? Come yep, on, on that. Man. That's rough. That's rough. Good job of hitting there by Williams. Just put it on the ground. Uh, turf infield bounced extremely high. And by the time the ball came down, he was at first. <laughs> yeah, there was no shot. <laughs> there was no shot. There was not even a throw. Next batter, number 18, Cannon Chase. That's the uh, first base runner of the game for the Tours. Mm -hmm. Big lead by Williams at first. Curveball in there for a called strike. Cannon Chase lined out to left. He... Actually struck the ball pretty good his first time up, but Locke read it well. Oh, and the Carnation throws it away. And he, Williams, with his speed, is going to get to third base. It'll be an error on the pitcher. A two-base throwing error. It almost been easier to just let him steal second. <laughs> at least he'd just be at second. <laughs> Runner at third, nobody out. 0-1 to Cannon Chase, the right fielder. Hit to the second baseman, that'll get a run home. Smith fields it cleanly. And Galveston is on the board. Yeah, Bummer lost the perfect game, no hitter in the shutout, all in a matter of uh, three pitches. Three pitches. Next batter, number 22, Sully Nixon. That's baseball. Well, time to <laughs> start. Time to start a new streak. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, he retired nine in a row uh, before Williams got the infield single, and now he's retired ten of eleven. But yeah, the uh, 
The pickoff throwing error. Is that a raindrop that just hit me? I felt something. We are close to the coast. You know how that can be sometimes. Little well, there is a rain shower. forecast for um, tomorrow and tomorrow night. There's some scattered showers in the area. Well, where I'm headed, Joe, I don't think they see rain a lot. I'll be in uh, first day on the job. It's supposed to be 101 already in Phoenix. So not looking forward to that. I heard it was snowing at Estes Park today in Colorado. <laughs> was it? Yeah. I believe that. I took a fly fishing trip in Estes Park one year, May the 5th, May the 6th, around that time, and uh, went to bed in a tent, and it was <laughs> 60s. Yeah. Woke up with eight inches of snow on the ground. I thought we were <laughs> been transported somewhere. <laughs> Made it interesting. Grounded left side. Tough play. Yeah. Eight up, eight up uh, Dawson at third. Let's see how they, they rule it a hit, and it'll be the second hit of the inning. Yeah, tough there. Kind of got caught in between on the decision. First step was in, then he started to take that drop step to get the big hop, and by then it was an in-betweener and by him. So it's one of those tough ones. Brings up the Norman Jackson. He's moved over to first base, started the game as a pitcher. He's on the hook for this game currently. One ball, no strikes, run it first, one out. Gas, Blue Bayou, <laughs> Linda Ronstadt song, uh, <laughs> one and one, my favorite ones. I see what you did there, that's, that's good. That's good. One ball, two strikes. Give him the gas, Ricky. Yeah. Uh-oh. Tag him. Strike out, throw out. Oh, that makes Double it easy. play. That makes it easy. They uh, forgot how many outs there were over at first base. And heads up play by <laughs> Piercy. Threw down there and, and caught, by Lard, caught, paying attention. Good job. caught Mixon just strolling around off the bag. And it'll be a strikeout throw out at first to end the inning. Mustang, the Tours do get a run, though. And it's 5-1 to one as we head to the fifth. You're watching Friendswood Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network.
Well, we have a new pitcher. <laughs> None other than Jonah Williams. The flame throwing lefty moves in from center to the bump. Number five, Dawson Henson. He'll face Dawson Henson. Immediately pipes gas on the inner black for a strike. Dawson one for two. Yeah, this uh, he pitched on Tuesday. Came in a game that uh, Galveston was trailing seven three, and Henson meets him with a bullet single to right field. Just a nice piece of hitting there. Not trying to do too much. Let the power of Jonah's arm provide the pop off your bat, and he just hit it where it was pitched, right back in the right center fielder. Now with a runner at first and a nobody out, let's see what Benny decides to do. Blake Knowles at the plate. Showing bunt. You're going to have to square around quicker than that, Blake. <laughs> Ball gets on you in a hurry. <laughs> I just, you don't even really need to bunt him over. Just steal him over. Make sure he goes to the plate. Take off. You're not going to get thrown out. Once you see him commit to the plate, you just go. If well, hits it, you would think that, off. but the, the ball does get there a lot quicker than it normally does, and and it's Dawson. I really do. You really want Dawson sprinting? Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I do. I don't. <laughs> I, I want him to walk around the bases. Uh, <laughs> I want that patella to stay where it where it's supposed to. Oh, Blake, fighting off a couple of tough pitches. So in other news, Verlander take, making his first uh, appearance of the season tonight for the Astros. Looking pretty good through five. Really? Got a 4-2 lead, a two-run, two-hit performance so far by uh, Verlander through five. So not bad, not bad. Got another piece of it. So <clears throat> Williams threw, what, three innings Tuesday night? Yeah, um, and looked pretty good. I've got the pitch count here somewhere. I think that's the first hit we've had off of him. So Jonah Williams threw 33 pitches uh, the other night. Yeah. So okay. two, two innings, two innings, 33 pitches. We're in the top of five. Mustangs up 5-1. Three in the first, one in the third, and one in the fourth for the Mustangs. And Galveston scored theirs in the bottom of the fourth. Starting to see some lightweight jackets and sweatshirts popping out. I know she took yours off your computer and threw it on your. There goes the runner. So high, is, that's what high I'm throw. About. No, no, you're, you're exactly right. There's no need to punt. Just run. So stolen base. Stolen base number three for the Mustangs. What is this about? Well, I mean, they're showing it an out on the board, and they cleared the ball strike count. So there's some confusion as to whether or not that was a ball or strike. A ball or strike, I guess, or if he attempted swung. I'm not sure what's going on right now. Well, hold up what the count is, Blue. <laughs> I believe it's one and two, and still no outs, a runner on second. Yeah, there we go. All right, one ball, two strikes. That one's going to get him to third. Full now? We're full now. 3 2. What a battle. Let's go First four pitches were. He's fouled off some tough pitches. Yeah. Missed a bunt. 
Swung through a ball and fouled too often. And hit hard. They're going to come home with it. It's He's going to save. <laughs> He'll be safe. Bottled at home. Another low throw from the shortstop. That was definitely a contact play. He was off on contact, but a good throw gets him. He just kind of short hopped his catcher there and wasn't able to hang on to it. Good slide to the outer part of the back part of home plate, reaching back with his hand. So a fielder's indifference will get Knowles to first, and he'll get a little RBI on that. And it brings up Drew Smith. Well, the Mustangs get that run back, now leads 6-1. Nobody out, and then the first run we scored against Williams. Ooh, that was closer. Uh, <laughs> mm, I don't know about that call. He called him safe, but man, that was really Yeah, Jonah thought he had him. Really close, really close. Jo Jonah walked off the mound. Ooh, a high strike. I don't know, Benny. <laughs> okay. Yep. That was a really high strike on Smith. You can throw over again. <laughs> I'm diving back. <laughs> <laughs> Had him fooled for sure. <laughs> a little hesitation in his delivery. 0 2 to Smith. Ah, oh, Drew Badlin. Hey, they're not intimidated, are they? They're up there swinging, hacking. And there's nobody out. Right? Correct. They have an out up on the board, but that is incorrect. There's no outs. Oh, we're going to have another discussion. That may be exactly what they're talking about. The umpire may have looked up and seen one out on the board, and maybe he's making sure what the situation is. I'm, I'm not sure exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that's and Benny's just confirming that as well. Still 0-2 to Smith here, 329 hitter on the season. Curveball, got to be a good one to hit there. I'd have been I would have been happy to get that one. <laughs> and he knew it. He just dropped his head, dropped his bat, and you just chalk one up, tip your hat to the pitcher. He'd been throwing gas, and he finally broke off a slow curve. And just caught him off guard. One out. Now they can leave that one up there. Whew. Yeah, if... Um, Knowles can get a decent jump. I think he'll head to second, but uh, he's having trouble figuring out the, the, yeah. le the lefty over there. Lara late on that pitch, and it's one and one. A throw over. Yeah, the blankets and jackets are definitely coming out. Oh, good butt. Oh, it's going to go foul. Right. Good idea. Had the right idea for sure. Just didn't execute and keep that ball fair. Caught him sleeping over there. I've yet to see us um, put a ball fair this year. It's Whether it be a, a sacrifice. It's been a different yeah. season uh, for sure for a team that Historically, bunts a lot. Line in the there. left field. Look at there, Laura. That a kid. Jammed him a little bit, and he fought it off and hit it out there through the sea fog and left. Nice. So two hits in the inning. Knowles moves to second. That's how big not getting a second is, right? Yeah. Brings up Caden Wells. Wells 0 for 2. Pop out and a fly out. Hit it pretty well. 
his last time up uh, to the right center gap, but the guy on the mound ran it down when he was out in center field. Not for a little payback for taking that hit away, huh? Fastball in there for a called strike. The, it, Wells had a pretty good bat against him Tuesday night. Uh, lined a couple of balls just foul down the right field line. This one gets by the catcher, and everybody will move up 90 feet. So, you know, that's the bad thing about for Galveston is, you know, these guys have seen him on t Tuesday. There's no surprise anymore, right? Sure. Uh, you know what you're going to get. Well, we, we were puzzled, right, him coming in in a 7-3 game with really uh, – he Big kinda, chop at first. Oh, wondered. there goes the runner. <laughs> Second. Thinking Knowles might go on contact. With the infield in, Knowles wasn't going anywhere. But uh, only play was at first. Next batter, number two, Peyton Adams. All right. So the man on the current hottest streak. <laughs> two for his last two, baby. Well. I guess Perry's there too, huh? But uh, got to think positive, Joe. I was. I say, if you're going to do it, oh, he was on it straight back. It, it, he's going to have to earn it. <laughs> hey. Her ball, gas on the outside corner. It's 0-2. He's going to have to work at it now for sure. There you go. Woo! Get down. Ugly ball ricocheted out of the dugout again. Lord. Runners at second and third. Two outs for Adams. Facing the hard throwing lefty, Jonah Williams. Curveball. Got a piece of it. Hit out just in no man's a, land, and it's yeah. caught by the second baseman. Just off the cap. Wind kind of pushed it back. So the Mustangs do get a run, though. But they will strand two. They lead it 6-1. We head to the bottom of the fifth. You're watching Friendswood Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network. Better. 
Number eight, John Rollins with a pinch hit here. And he'll take strike one from Encarnacion. Is this another eight? I thought Parker Coza was eight. I think he was 11, huh? Maybe? I think. No, I think it says number eight. But he said John Rollins on the... Uh, <laughs> one ball, one strike. One and two. <clears throat> Yeah, um, the old stomping grounds is, you know, Bam played his two first years of the field right behind us, Galveston yeah. Whitecaps. Whitecaps. And uh, his mom asked him, do you feel like uh, a high chopper? Let it go foul. No play for Blake. <laughs> Says who? Whoa, my goodness <laughs> gracious. What Says a play who? by Encarnacion. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, he's like, he was. I think he's yeah. still upset about the first base yeah. hit that he had. He gave up like that. He threw a dart over there to Laura. Laura's probably palm stinging a little bit. He brings up Tre good play Trevino, but they, uh, you know, they would run from here back to the college <laughs> on the seawall. Yeah. So she, she asked me, when you're here, do you feel like you should be running on the seawall? He goes, yep. I still, still feel like it was yesterday. Well, it wasn't that long ago, huh? What is, how old is he now? He's 31, right? 31? He's in his 30s already? 2010? What it was his graduation year? We're in 24 now? Yeah. Yeah, he's been out. <laughs> Good. <Goodness>. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. not, not a kid anymore. Time flies. Got kids. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Two balls, one strike to Trevino. Trevino popped out his first time up. Wow, pitch. dang. That's a heck of a 2-1 pitch there. 2-2. Two and two. Get you a pitch count on Encarnacion here in just a minute. Cruising right along. That was pitch number 62 here in the bottom of the fifth. So he's, uh, he's doing some work out there, isn't he? I thought he had his uh, sixth strikeout just then, but uh, grounded to Dawson. High throw, Laura will bring it down. And there's two away. Makes it look easy over there. Yeah, gets pretty good gas mileage out of Encarnacion tonight. He's up the DH Ochoa. Ochoa came up with a big old uh, Pinch hit in the last game, did he not? Didn't he smoke one off of Cooper Harris? Somebody. I think you're right. Takes strike one here. One one of the few little bright spots for ball in that game. Come in cold and rake. No, oh, yeah, he pinch hit. That's what it was. Yep. Yeah, he was not a regular starter in that game. Good fastball. It. Wells throwing across. And a one, two, three inning. For Encarnacion, and his pitch count is at what now? 66, 66 through, five. through five. Man, that's 
That's awesome. That's efficiency right there. That's getting it done. We head to the sixth. Mustangs up 6-1. Aiden Piercy will lead it off for the Mustangs here in the sixth inning. Piercy tonight, a couple of walks and a ground out. Takes ball one inside from Williams. Kind of, I kind of like that we're getting to see this kind of velocity uh, right before the playoff start. This ball's hit pretty good toward the right center field. Long run for the right fielder. And, oh, it's going to be the center fielder. It's going to hang out. That wind held it up. That ball was hit very well. But that wind helped push it back towards the center fielder. And there's one away. Yeah, that's like uh, smoking your tee shot into the wind and then going about two bills down the fairway. <laughs> Here's Perry. Two for three with a couple of doubles, an RBI, run scored. Fouls this one straight back. Ooh, that hurt. That hurt. Ah. Uh, that's catching that ball on the on the thumb. Mm. Yeah, that's not gonna feel good. No, nope. doesn't feel good right now. It's gonna feel worse tomorrow. One ball, one strike to Perry. That one's down and in. Grounded one hopper to third. There's two away. Dane was on it. You know, since uh, Williams came in, and between him and Encarnacion finding their groove, this game's moving along pretty good right now. Yep, really quick. Mustangs have yet to go in order, though. Now you've done it. It'll be up to Kyle Lockhart to keep that streak alive. Takes a breaking ball for strike one. A breaking ball for strike two. And fought off breaking ball number three, but it's caught out there in right field. It'll be an 0 for 4 night for Locke. And that will end the sixth. Top of the sixth, we'll head to the bottom half. Mustangs leading this one is still 6 to 1. And Carnacion is making his way back to the mound. You're watching Friendswood Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network.
Parker Coza will lead it off for the tours here in the bottom half of the six. Shout out to uh, Delaney Gloger and uh, Harrison Vera. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you, folks. Lead off batters number 11, Parker Coza. Haven't heard from Goolsby on the text line, but I'm assuming he's watching. Sure, Co Ghouls is out there somewhere. Coaching from Conroe. I know Doug Max. He's watching the Texas Tech game, so he's uh, he's occupied doing double duty tonight. But uh, probably won't hear from him. Six one. Oh, that gearing up for gasp, <laughs> but you can't hit that one, man. That was over your head. But you, that's what you got to do, man. You got to you've got to make up your mind early. Carnacion throws hard without a 25 mile an hour wind. With it, he's been practically unhittable here tonight. Mm, Williams got that call. One ball, one strike. Mm, two and one. He's thrown that consistently on a 2-1 count for a strike. Yeah, he has. That was a good pitch there. Back him up a little bit. A little softer variety of that slider on the inner black. Whew, good thing he didn't swing at that. He probably made it to first base. Full count, one of the few full counts Blake has had tonight. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Payoff pitch from Blake. Did he point to first base? Wow, okay. That is the first walk given up by Incarnacion. Next batter is number three, Ethan Sanders. And we'll have a pinch hit here. Ethan Sanders. for the catcher, Mike Martinez. Some kind of lineup question there. I'm not sure both coaches meeting with the umpire. To, both pulled their copies of the ball lineup out, so maybe well, there's some discussion about who was who was where, but I think maybe to what you were saying, I think you had Koza down as number eight, which he's actually number 11, and maybe that's what Benny just picked up on. Is yeah, they have right. Ethan Sanders in here as number three, but they had, they had, yeah, in the lineup, they had Parker Koza and John Rollins as number eight so on, on the scorecard they turned in. So, Uh, Jennifer actually helped me do the lineup tonight. <laughs> she was giving me the numbers. I thought she may have inadvertently given me a wrong number, but she did not. They, uh, the coaches screwed up. They have two number eights in the lineup card. So that 
That was confusing. I want to thank her, by the way. She, she's she been doing this with me so long now. She uh, actually sets up the ca uh, tripods and the cameras. She knows. Yeah. She's she got it down. And, uh, and also the uh, uh, crowd mic. So we set up. Again, we had to bring a table, chairs, <laughs> everything here. So um, I was a little bit concerned about the, how long it would take to set up. But uh, with her helping me, man, we got set up under, with under 30 minutes. It might have been a, a record time. One ball, two strikes. Yeah, thanks, Jen. Uh, two and two. Like starting to tire a little bit. Next pitch will be pitch number 77. That's still pretty efficient here in the bottom of the sixth. Slider got him. Strikeout number seven for Blake. There's one out with the runner at first. And they're going to go get him. But they're going to talk about it. Kind of feel like sitting 77 through that. A ground ball away from double play and getting out of this inning and finishing with six full. Let's we'll see what they decide to do here. And that may be what they're talking about. Still got good velocity, but he has been not as sharp here. So he just gave up his first walk here in the uh, bottom of the sixth. Yeah, six balls opposed to five strikes so far in this inning, which is a kind of a flip-flop. He's been pretty much pounding the zone through, through five, but here in the sixth, lost a little bit of that zone, but not by much. He's not missing badly. Keep in mind, it's only the third guy to reach base yeah. for Galveston. And he just struck out a guy, so I say let him eat. Let him throw. Uh, I think he can get that ground ball to the play, but you got uh, I think a tough double play. <laughs> yeah, tough. With uh, Jonah Williams at and, the plate. But. And, uh, you know, I think that's a good mound visit from Benny. Gives him a little time to take a breather, talk about. The guy that's coming up. You know, Piercy's going to run out there and make sure they're on the same page. Two hits in the game for Galveston Ball. Jonah Williams has one, and Sully Mixon has one. Sully, though, forgot how many outs there were and was picked off at first base to end the fourth inning. Another slow grounder. Laura's going to have to come get it. Good and job. Wow, uh, great play by Matthew Laura. Good job. 2-4. Two, two Way man, to go, Man, that's kid. a heck of a play. You said it earlier. He's just played a, a, an incredible first base. Williams doing it again, just throwing his hands, hitting the top of that baseball, trying to beat it out. But Laura came in, read it, and played that perfectly. And you got big Jonah Williams barreling down on the Mach 5. <laughs> you know you got you got to grab that ball and make a tag. That's that's not that easy. He did. That's a heck of a play there by Laura. Put put a good move on Laura too. You might, did. Yeah, it showed a showed football, football move, move right? there yeah. as well. See why he's such a uh, talented prospect for uh, football and baseball. Brings up Cannon Chase. Chase lined out, grounded out. Koza makes his way to second. So runner at second, two outs. 
for Cannon Chase. Back, nice backhand by Piercy. <clears throat> this next pitch will be pitch number 80 for Blake. Yeah, I would, I would think this is his last batter either way. Yeah, probably go to... Uh, who do you think, Cooper? I think Cooper Harris wrapped this up. I don't know. Um, I mean, Bila, Bila threw <laughs> three pitches and got out of a jam. They might see him again with a with a cushion. Uh, Robertson could come in with yep. a cushion. Yep. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Two balls and a strike. Kind of hoping that wind would die down after the uh, sun went down, but if anything, it's picked up a little bit. That flag's ripping out there and left. Hit him. Hmm. Well, now you got one of the only guys with a hit coming to the plate. First and second with the hit batter now. Still two outs. That can change things. Well, Benny's going to try and let him finish the inning. You've earned it, kid. Go out there and get it done. Come on. Bear down and get one more here. Two on, two out. Grounded foul. Well, a lot of the kids have gone home, but they're still Quite a passel of kids running around here. A, a, a what of kids? <laughs> <laughs> not sure. Not sure I understood that word there, Joe. Did you go back to the twenties for that one? Or? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lifted right side. Probably going to get out of play. Laura's going to give it a look, and he'll run out of room. <laughs> yeah, they were showing uh, some memes uh, yesterday saying how these older person's names haven't aged well. <laughs> it showed the person, their name was, you know, some silly. It was great for a kid name, but as they've gotten older, you know, uh, it's just not good for an old person. That's been that's been kind of the trend here. A lot, a lot of yeah. parents going to the uh, 0 2. Wow, look at him geared up for the fastball. Just got a piece of it. Yeah, you got to go with the slider. 0 2, no sense in challenging him right here. Runners on first and second, two outs. Work it off the plate, kid. Or back him up. But I like off to play with a slider here. You but just the word, saw him, how the, geared up he was. The word was passel. Pa passel. 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 That's an actual word. You yeah. play Scrabble? <laughs> I passel. don't. But my, two S's? T-L-E? T-E-L? P-A-S-S-L-E. P-A-S-S-L-E. Uh-huh. Oh. 
<laughs> and I've probably only used that a couple times in my life and why why it pops in now but it it made sense. <laughs> oh my goodness. One ball, two strikes. Oh man. But uh, yeah, he got me questioning myself, but I believe it's a large group of people. Oh, a passel. Passel. It's like a gaggle. It's a big people. <laughs> yeah. Not geese. Yeah, yes. Not, right, a, not a gaggle it. of geese. A passel well, of people. I'm going to use that. One ball, two strikes, two outs. And my, my kids call me out on that stuff all the time. I don't. <laughs> Dad, you're old. Dad, I don't, don't know what that means <laughs> either. <laughs> speak, speak a language we understand or. That's impossible. Have you heard <laughs> kids these days talk? Uh. Mm. Throw that slider again, kid. Checks the runner. There yes. Wow. Money. That a boy, Blake. Great job. <laughs> kid, he's fired up over that one. Eighth strike out of the game. For Encarnacion, he gives up one run on two hits. And that's just an incredible outing. And how many pitches total? 87. Ended up with 87, 87 pitches. 87 yeah. pitches. Wow. That's yeah. through six. That's good stuff right there, y'all. We will head to the seventh, folks. Mustangs lead this one 6-1. You're watching Friends with Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network. Dawson Henson will lead it off for the Mustangs here in the top of the seventh. Henson got a couple of hits tonight, one off of Williams. Two for three with a homer and a strikeout. There's another kid we're going to get to watch for a couple of years. Yes, sir. Curveball, a good one. Two and balls, started, two strikes. He started as a freshman on varsity. Yes, so he did. That's something right there, y'all. Inside, three and two. Man, Jones working quick. I can barely keep up with his pitches. Yeah. <laughs> he does not waste time on the mound. Curveball. Oh. 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 It's a good one. Henson lays off of it. It stays down in the zone. That was close. So a great night for Dawson, two for two for three, and on base three out of four times tonight. So. And Lane Vegas will get to pinch hit for Knowles. All right, let's go, Lane. Lane started a lot of the games for the Mustangs this season. Good, very good right fielder. A lot of speed. Not much of a lead at first. Curveball in there for a strike. Hey! 
Fastball. A little late on that, and it's one and one. It's going to be 0 and 2. Yeah, it should be 0 and 2. Should be 0 and 2. That's uh, got to quit looking at the board. Those guys are lined Boy, into the left field, and it down. will be down. Yeah, a base hit. On an 0-2 pitch. On an 0-2 pitch, he leaves a breaking pitch out over the plate, and Lane smokes it out into left center. Ball was down. It wasn't a terrible pitch. It wasn't I mean, a it terrible was pitch. Down it in the zone, but he went down and got it and just laced it into shallow center field there. But as late as Lane was on strike two, you'd have thought he'd come back with more heat. Instead, he gave him a off-speed pitch. That may as a hitter, I'm like, thank you very much. Yeah. Of course. Hey, I had a, I, I'm batting against Donnie Little. I, Wanted nothing to do with his fastballs. And the biggest mistake he made was throwing me a curveball. And I was like, thank you. I can see that pitch. Next batter is number six, Drew Smith. Yeah, you know, they say you can't hit what you can't see. Oh, that's, that's what Bam was facing a guy from San Jack one and struck out on three pitches. And I said, after the game, but what are you doing? He goes, man, if I could have seen it, I'd have hit it. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I oh, gotcha. You know, when you get up to mid-90s, it's a different game. It's different. Smith right side. No, oh, he will touch the bag. They'll have to tag a second. Nice play by the shortstop. He'll move the runners up, though. Yeah, the Mustangs credit, man. They're, they're uh, putting the wood on. Number Jonah Williams. Yeah, they're not intimidated. They're swinging the bat. Laura got a hit off him last time up. All smiles from Laura in the box there. Tough night for Smith. 0 for 4. Breaking ball stays inside for ball one. Yeah, Laura fought off a breaking pitch up on his hands and lined it out into left field. Last time for a base hit. Infield in, trying to keep the runner at third. Ooh, oh, got dog. And he got hit in the face. Um, it had a little bit of helmet, but also hit a little bit of face. Well. And I would, they're asking for a rag. He's. So Matt waved to the crowd, let everybody know he was going to be okay. Um, but I do believe he might need a stitch or two. They I can't <clears> tell <throat> if it's a nosebleed or a, or a cut. cut. Looks like she's pinching the nose. He did give a wave, and he's I've seen him over there chuckling. So well, hopefully it ricocheted off the helmet and I'm caught him in the nose on the ricochet. That's so scary, y'all. Um, You know, I don't, I didn't see any runner break from third, so I know it wasn't a suicide squeeze. If it was a safety squeeze, that's possible. But a lot of times a pitcher will hit the hitter, but I don't think he meant to hit no, him in the head. No, that ball just had some run on it. It's a lefty. He throws hard. It's got run. 
I mean, you, you, we talked to the players after the last game that faced him, and they talked about how it was, you know, 93-94 with a lot of run. And that's just what happened there. He's throwing a fastball, it's running in, you got a batter square, and just, just couldn't get out of the way of that when it happens. Um, I'm, I hope he's okay. I mean, he seems to be okay and in good spirits right now. I hope, like I said, I hope it was a glancing blow kind of off the helmet, but man, very frightening. They're probably, I'm assuming they're going to pinch run for him. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think right now they're just trying to get the nose to stop bleeding, it looks like. Um, well, if they can't, <laughs> they need to call an ambulance and get an ambulance here. So if you're joining late, we're, uh, Matt Lara was hit with a pitch with runners at second and third. And one out in the inning. Mustangs in control of this game. And Carnacion has been outstanding. I doubt he comes out for the seventh. I expect Cooper Harris to come close it out, but with a big lead, it could be almost anybody. Looks like they're going to try and get him up. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, that, that mid-90s pitch gets in on you pretty quick. I want to congratulate the uh, girls' golf team again. I mentioned that they are headed to state. they regional champs for the first time in 34 years. Mary Kerr, Maggie Kerr, Trinity Bosley, Catherine Jonda, and Mary Sheshuk. Coaches Scott Smith, Ray Monahan, Mitchell Marquis, and Tiffany Blevins. Congratulate, congratulations to all you guys. And good luck in sta at state. Norman Jackson started the game for Galveston. He was replaced by Austin Raines and now Jonah Williams. Mustang. Right, let's go. Mustangs have scored against all three pitchers. Mm. 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 I hate to see that. Glad he's up. Glad he's walking. Classy move by Jonah Williams there, the pitcher coming in and tapping him on the back. I'd like to see that sportsmanship there from that young man. That is scary. Yep, scary, scary. So now it's a cleanup process at the plate there to make sure there's all the medical supplies are gone. Henson will head back to third. Knowles is at second. Looks and like uh, Bangle. Is that Bangle? Yeah, Sam Bangle. And Bangle will pinch run and go to first base. And Caden Wells will step in once they get this cleaned up. Wells 0 for 3. Chance to forget all of that here if he can. Yep. Good job by the training get a staff knock. there to take care of Mr. Lar. Get everything all cleaned up, get him bandaged. 
Yep, got there quickly. Didn't was, rush it, didn't try to move him, just made sure that he was going to be okay. And that's good. They're going to let uh, Jonah take a few warm-up pitches. Been standing around for 20 minutes. Well, just thankful to see him get up and walk off under his own power there because that could have been a whole lot worse. Well, and also, if you're looking for bright spots, next week is the bye week. Yeah. yeah. So give him a little time to rest up. All right. I think we're about ready to go again. So I need to clear well, the scoreboard, but... Still one out in the inning. No count now. No course. count. Yeah, it's not 2-0, and o, folks. It's 0-0. They do have the outs right. Scary as a kid, scary as a parent. Wells takes 94 for strike one. Batting is number three, Caden Wells. Another fastball waves at it, strike two. Trying to go to the other way with it. That, that one that had the tail on it. Yep. Ground it up the middle. Be a tough play to get him at home. It only plays it first. They throw it away. One run will score. Here comes run number two. And Wells reaches on an error and will get two runs across in doing so. Good job just moving the baseball there by Wells. Pounded it into that turf. And get Especially that with an 0-2 count, right? right? After that long delay of a Yeah, long delay. And getting you're the guy that batted just before you got drilled, right? So, yeah. I mean, digging in. Oh, yeah, uh, here's your next lefty. Yeah. Peyton Adams will step in. That's, and he's, <laughs> he's already bailing out. I don't blame him. I'd be doing the same thing. Takes ball outside. 2-0. and oh. and we're Mustangs back to the top of the order. Runners at second and third. Two outs. Two runs across. Lifts this one to left field. Got a late jump on it. Now comes in. Makes the play. Throw home oh is going to be in time. Super shallow fly ball to left there. Yeah, uh, Benny being aggressive. Trying to just, hey, test it, you know. Haven't tested him all game. Let's test the arm, see what happens. And he threw a perfect one-off throw to the catcher. Beat him by a mile. So Knowles gets, not Knowles, who was that pace running? Bangle, Bangle gets thrown out at home. That will end the top of the seventh. We'll head to the bottom half, and do we know who's out there on the mound? It's Cooper Harris. Cooper Harris. All right, so I'm going to try and get this over with and, <laughs> and end it now. Blue's out in front playing catch for the kid, but he's throwing it to the net, and the kid can't catch the ball. I like that. <laughs> Mustangs lead this one 8-1. You're watching Friendswood Baseball on the Big Daddy Media Network.
Kate says he saw the moonlight Graham flash on the scoreboard five, there. <laughs> I'm going home to build me a ball field in a cornfield. <laughs> Cooper Harris taking over for the Mustangs on the mound. Here in the bottom of the seventh, Mustangs need three outs. So Blake's night ends on 87 pitches. Pretty dominant. 21 batters face 16 first pitch strikes, 58 strikes, 29 balls. So just a two to one strike to ball ratio and just starting ahead all night long. Eight strikeouts, one walk, and one hit batter. And again, the walk and the hit batter came in the sixth inning. be four, five, and six for the tours. Mm, man. Cooper Just Harris five. with the uh, fastball up in the eyes. Strikeout number one here in the seventh for Harris. Next batter is number 20, Austin Reigns. Austin Reigns fouls this one out of play. Lockhart gave it a good college effort, but it's uh, made it out of play. You know, now that I think about it, I think Passel may be E-L, not L-E. <laughs> <laughs> You're still thinking about that? <laughs> well, you asked me how to spell it. I was like, ooh, I mean, you know, that's, that, that's, that's another animal. <laughs> no one in spelling it's two different things. One ball, one strike, one out. Percy with a disco move behind the plate. Ooh. Two and one. Cooper's having trouble landing on the off that mound. That's way outside. It's A little uncharacteristic there. <clears throat> yeah, came in throwing four of the first five strikes, and then suddenly four straight balls. So brings up Trevino. Regroup here. Trevino, 0 for two. Ball hit first. And thrown away, Bangle in at first base, made the play, but it'll be a throwing error on Bangle. I wish he'd have just taken the time to get one. He's trying to hurry to get two. But the E3 will now put runners at first and third. I mean, first and second. Oh, man. That's okay. I mean, I'd like to see him take the out, but again, one out in the inning. Barnes hit sharply enough where you could definitely turn to there. I think you just oh, absolutely. came in cold. But, and, and but, you know, you're, it happens. you're trying to get more playing time, right? And you, so you kind of feel for the kid. <clears throat> There's an opportunity for him to play. And then – but you're right. Or tech, touch the bag and, and then, then throw. Th then throw. Plenty of options there, but – there was no hesitation, so you like to see that. He was ready for the baseball. He fielded it. He knew where he was going with the ball immediately. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, all things you can learn from. Yeah, he definitely had options. Yeah. Oh, and two. Down low. 
Ochoa 0 for 2 tonight. Tours have two base runners, one a walk, one an error. They only have two hits in the game. This one bounces in. Piercy comes up with it. And it's two and two. Williams had a uh, infield hit in the fourth. And then Sully Mixon had a base hit also in the fourth. Yes. Two down. Big strike out there for, for Cooper. Here's Koza, the left fielder. 0 for 1 with a walk. Next batter, number 11, Parker Koza. Mustangs need an out to move to eight and four on the year. And then they will have to sit back and watch and see what happens next week. That good gravy. What'd you find Old out? Astros. Astros. They're just wearing me out this year. You can't watch them right now. You just it was can't. 5-2 going in the bottom of the ninth. Hater comes in, promptly gives up a triple. Sack fly, and now a single and a walk. So first and second, a 5-3 game and one out in the inning. Just get uh, it done. Come on, We man. paid a lot for that guy. <laughs> it happens that way sometimes. t -bun. Kent Ballard just checking out. Friendswood legend. Legend, huh? Where'd he go? He just walked off. Do we need to get an autograph? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think he's in ill health. There's still time. Okay. Two balls, two strikes. All right, let's put a bow on this one, Coop. Come on. Tie a little pretty bow on it right here. Let's throw some gas. Don't mess around. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> Come on, really? <laughs> oh, that funny. Oh, they got a piece of it. They did. Congratulations. Staying alive. Like a BG up there. See what I did there? I did. Okay. We got Linda Ronstadt, <laughs> the BGs. <laughs> we don't have anybody from the 90s or 2000s, but we can name groups from the old days. We can go 90s here in a second. Two and two. Slider got bye, it. Bye, yeah. bye. Yeah. There it is. Bye, bye. <laughs> That's a ball game. There's your 90s reference, and that'll do it. Thank you. So Cooper Harris strikes out the side in the seventh. The Mustangs win this one 8-1. to one. To move to eight and four in district play and twenty-two five and one overall. And enough cannot be said about the job Blake and Carnacion did tonight on the mound. Two hitter. Yeah. And domination. Just dominated. Eight strikeouts, a walk, a hit batter, but uh, dominated from start to finish. Very efficient night for Carnacion. And uh, Big bomb in the first from Dawson Henson showing he, he's finally uh, getting back to full strength. It's good to see. Good time. And, and fingers crossed on Matt Lauren. It's just uh, a little bruise, and he'll be back for the playoffs. Yep, certainly hope so. <clears throat> Hate to see that at the end of otherwise. Pretty flawless night for the Mustangs. Um, just so hope he feels good tomorrow and, and shakes that off. And like you said, the Bye week coming up. A little rest. Bye week for the Mustangs. So, yeah, keep an, keep an eye on what goes on next week. Uh, Mustangs could end up in a three-way tie and 
Uh, we still don't know where we're going for the playoffs, but uh, going somewhere, and we just don't know where we are as we finish 18-5A. Uh, we could end up first, first to third, so we'll see what happens. Still a lot to be figured out here in the last week of the 18-5A season. For my partner, Kate Lyko, I'm Joe Hoyer. A special thanks to Randy Fry and Jennifer Hoyer helping with the broadcast tonight. Uh, once again, the Mustangs win this one over Galveston Ball, 8-1. to one. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks when the playoffs starts. Good night, everybody. Good night, folks.